Hi, this is Dr. Lou Jacobs at Jacobs Chiropractic Acupuncture Center and Perinatal and Pediatric Chiropractic of Maine. I am here today to speak to pregnant moms about the sciatica pain that you're experiencing and ways that you can help it without drugs and without doctors at home on your own. During pregnancy, sometimes the sciatica pain that you're feeling is coming from the low back, from the nerves of the low back, because of impingement and irritation at the level of the spine. But sometimes, and quite often, the sciatic nerve is not being pinched up in the back, but rather in the muscles of the glutes down here. Tight muscles down there from changes in posture during pregnancy or changes in activity during pregnancy will lead to enough tension that the sciatic nerve is irritated and you feel the symptoms of a real sciatica, but in fact, this is not a real sciatica. This is what is often called piriformis syndrome. There is a muscle down here in the gluteal area called the piriformis muscle, and when it gets really tight, it'll push on that sciatic nerve and cause symptoms just like sciatica. The good news is, is at home with a tennis ball, with a theracane, with a foam roller, with the arm of a couch, you can safely apply pressure to that area and reduce the inflammation, reduce the tension, and do enough so that there's enough pressure that comes off the nerve so that you no longer have the symptoms. How would you do that, you ask? I'm gonna show you. If you have a foam roller and you're feeling pain in here, in your glute area, right? And you're also feeling symptoms down the leg, all you wanna do is apply pressure to the achy spot in these muscles back here. So you could sit carefully stabilizing you and your baby, sit on the foam roller and just wiggle back and forth just like this, massaging that area. Okay, it'll feel achy, it might feel a little uncomfortable and it may even increase the symptoms down your leg. But if you get up off the foam roller and within a little while you feel better, that's a good sign that you're suffering from more of a piriformis syndrome than a true sciatica. Now you're gonna wanna repeat that multiple times. What if you don't have a foam roller? And by multiple times, I mean three or four times for 30 seconds at a time, and do it regularly. If you don't have a foam roller, but you do have an arm of a couch here, right? Then what you can also do is you can lean up against the arm of the couch with the same spot on the edge of the arm, and you can just sort of lean into it and let the arm of the couch dig into the muscles of your glutes for 30 seconds at a time, repeating three or four times until the tension seems to dissipate. And with that dissipation of tension, you may get temporary or even more than temporary relief of some of your sciatica symptoms. Now the theme is the same with whatever you happen to use for putting pressure on those muscles. If you have a theracane, you would use this end of the theracane to get in there and push on those muscles. If you'd use a tennis ball, you'd sit on the tennis ball. But this is a really great first line of defense if you're at home, you're suffering from sciatica pain, you're a few months pregnant or a few weeks pregnant or many months pregnant, and you just wanna to try to deal with it. Now, if it doesn't work, something else may be going on. And ultimately, if, if the symptoms go away or they don't go away, but there seems to be something else wrong, you're gonna to wanna to get checked out by a professional. In the meantime, give this a try. And if you have any questions, either about technique or about the results that you should expect, post those questions below and I will answer them as soon as I possibly can. Good luck with your pregnancy. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, again, post them below. My name is Dr. Lou Jacobs, perinatal and pediatric board certified chiropractor in Portland, Maine. Have a great day.